setting up for one-on-one -on -one action between Hedda Canales and Ricky Mendel. This is a pro wrestling match. This, um, technically, this is yes. not like a pro wrestling match. This looks like something else. Uh, technically, yes, this is a wrestling Brown match. Brown chicken, brown cow. Oh, God. Actually, this is a match of, this is a fight you can probably see happen on the streets of San Francisco or West Hollywood. Or Laguna Beach. Despite the appearance of our Hector Canellis, Hector Canellis really wants to wrestle Ricky. Really, really bad. <laughs> I mean, despite the mind, the mind games, the, the Justin Reynolds style mind games of Hector Canellis, this man is actually a well accomplished wrestler, but he definitely toys with the minds of his opponents. <laughs> Hector is scanning him. Real man, all right. And Ricky Mandel, I don't know what. I don't think he knows what to make of this. The funny thing is, these two have a history. Yeah. Not the kind of history you probably are thinking about right now. <laughs> these two used to be tag team champions. Oh, yeah. These two used to compete for a heavyweight championship over in San Diego. So these two know each other. Hopefully not. Oh God! Oh, Man, those are kind of definitely very close. Well, they know each other already. Right? I, 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 I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. By the good vibrations, I guess you could call it, by Hector Canales. Southern California wrestling. <laughs> and, uh, and Ricky Mendel, jaw jacking with the fans now. Trying to figure out a way to start up this matchup. One thing is for sure, when she was voted, one thing is for sure, Hector is being loved by the crowd right now. He's loved pretty much everywhere he goes. Actually, he seems to be wrestling now. Not a very smart thing to do. But, um, but I think just the, I think that's what, I think that's what he probably has to resort to is just straight up brawling rather than wrestling. Because Hector's screaming like a girl. Hector is screaming like a girl. Yeah, he's screaming like a girl. All right, over by Hector. Uh, he's right over. Oh, 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 Normally, any time that Hector gets into the ring, he kind of has two different personas, kind of uh, personified by the tights that he wears. But I think on this match, we just cut right to the chase. And now Biggie is actually getting into this match now. Former heavyweight champion in California, and you asked him to take his this wrestling gear off. Uh, don't do say that. that. It, uh, oh. Wait, what? Oh, my, my heart almost jumped out of my chest for a second, but now he's rocking some different some different trunks right underneath the pink ones. These are normally the ones that he would start a match up with. Wait. And I recommend Dell not taking it to Hector. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Hector took off those pink tights. And now he's all of a sudden acting like a man. Um, is it, does he have like a jock Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I, yes, I believe so. It's normally personified by the trunks that he wears. I got a, like I spoke earlier, yes, I mean, he would normally come out to the ring and start his match up with tights very close to the ones he has on right now, to pick the words El Chido, or Chido, or however you pronounce it. Chop served in the night. And now Mandela looks to be in full control. Oh, that's like not anymore. Oh, my God. That's how you chop. Head smashing the other corner. That's going to mature the ring. Oh, my God. Nice boy. And the crowd standing behind Hector Canellis. Now, what? That's not the very good place to be, what? And now an Espanol lesson by the Southgate faithful. And oh! Ricky, you just got caught. You got team bag in the face. <laughs> Normally it's that's reserved for pornographic films or a Halo game online, but... Or Call of Duty. Or Call of Duty. Oh my God. 
Steel kick. That's why I didn't knock out any teeth. And he's on the ceiling, Maxwell. Oh, he's got a 